Today, I want to give you 10 tips for your GoPro Hero 10. My first tip will allow you to navigate the menus more quickly. When you are on the main screen, you will see the settings button at the bottom center. If you tap on it, the menu with the presets will open. However, if you tap and hold the same button, the actual settings menu will open instead of the presets menu. This way, you can make changes faster. If you tap and hold one of the shortcuts on the left or right side, a menu opens where you can change the shortcut. And that brings me to my second tip. You can customize all the shortcuts on the GoPro Hero 10 to suit your needs. Let's say for example you never used the zoom feature in standard mode, but you often use the exposure compensation. Then you open the settings menu, scroll all the way down and select the exposure value compensation shortcut for the space at the bottom right. This way you can always quickly and easily adjust the automatic exposure. As already mentioned, you can also change the shortcuts simply by tapping and holding them. My next tip refers to the quick capture mode. You will probably know that with quick capture, you can start shooting a video by simply pressing the shutter button when the camera is turned off. The camera will shoot using your last video settings. Quick Capture will help you significantly to improve battery life. You can use Quick Capture not only to shoot videos, but also to take photos and time lapses. To do this, press and hold the shutter button for 3 seconds when the camera is turned off. The camera turns on and starts recording a time lapse with your last time lapse settings. Since with a photo time lapse many single pictures are taken, this feature is also suitable for quickly take a few photos. You should only make sure that you have activated the photo format in the time-lapse mode and that you have not set the time warp mode. You may want to change the settings underwater, for example when diving, but you will not be able to use the touchscreen underwater. It is possible to change the video preset or the photo and time-lapse mode without using the touchscreen and with the help of the front screen. To do this, briefly press the shutter button and the mode button at the same time. A menu will appear on the front display. Use the mode button to move through the different presets. Use the shutter button to make changes. My next tip will help you to expose your shot correctly. Let's assume you are in a relatively dark environment, for example in a forest, but you can see the sky on the horizon. The camera's automatic system sets the exposure based on the entire frame. Since it is relatively dark, this could cause the sky to burn out completely and only be visible as a white spot. If you want to prevent this, you can use the exposure control to set the camera to determine the exposure by considering only a very specific area, for example the sky. You do this by tapping and holding on the respective area. A white frame appears. When you are satisfied with the exposure, click on the check mark in the lower right corner. Now the camera will always determine the exposure based on this small area. If you want to fix the exposure completely, tap on the white frame again. Now a small lock appears. Confirm again in the lower right corner. Now the exposure settings will no longer change, even if the light changes significantly. With the GoPro Hero 10, you can also shoot videos with portrait orientation. To do this, simply hold the camera in portrait mode and start recording. The problem is that sometimes you will unintentionally make a video with portrait orientation. To prevent this, there is the landscape lock. You activate it in the display menu. If on the other hand, you simply want to fix the current mode, regardless of whether it's landscape or portrait orientation, you can do so in the dashboard by tapping on the appropriate icon. By the way, if you're interested in what poles I use for the Hero 10, or what my favorite mounts and accessories are, check out the links in the video description. With the Hero 10, you can easily remove the lens cover. You do it by simply turning the lens cover to the left. Once it's rotated at about 45 degrees, you can just take it off. The GoPro Hero 10 Black tends to get warm when taking longer shots. This will be a problem especially in hot environments. Even overheating and automatic shutdown is possible. There are a few tips to limit the heat generation. You should definitely deactivate the GoPro app as it requires a lot of energy. If that's not enough, try reducing the resolution or frame rate and making shorter videos if possible. All of this will definitely help you prevent the camera from overheating. Imagine you want to use your GoPro as a dash cam or a body cam. Of course, you don't know beforehand when something important is going to happen and you don't want to capture hours of footage. For this, there is the looping feature, which is a bit hard to find on the Hero 10. To use the looping feature, you have to create a new preset. You do this in the presets menu by tapping on the icon in the upper right corner and then on the plus. Under mode, you then select looping. Once you have created the preset, you can then select the interval in the settings. For example 5 minutes. The camera then captures for 5 minutes and overwrites the old clip after the time has expired. It will do this until you stop recording. The last 5 minutes will then be saved. You can change the interval also to for example 20 minutes 
or even two hours. There may be situations where the beep tones of the GoPro are perceived as disturbing. The same can be true for the LED lights blinking during recording. Both can be adjusted and deactivated. There are three different volume levels for the beep sound, high, medium and low. For the LEDs, you can either deactivate only the LED on the front or both LEDs, the one on the front and the one on the back. This way, you won't be able to see immediately if the camera is recording. You can find the corresponding settings under General. Finally, I would like to give an extra tip to all those who live in the PAL region. If you want to set the ideal frame rates for the PAL region, for example 25 frames per second or 50 frames per second, then you will find the necessary setting under General and Anti-Flicker. For the PAL region, you have to select 50 Hz. And that's it for today. If the video was interesting for you, give me a like as feedback. And see you next time.